Hi everyone, it's Dr. Cred. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist in Southern California. If you or a family member are having cataract surgery or a refractive lens exchange soon, you will find out that there are so many lens implants to choose from. Last year, I made a video about my favorite lens implants for 2023. However, a lot has changed since then, and I felt it was important to share what my favorite lenses are in 2024. And at the end of this video, I'll let you know from amongst all my favorite lenses, which lens implant I would choose for myself if I was having cataract surgery in 2024. Of course, there are other great lenses available beyond the ones I talk about today. These are just my personal favorites. This video is not sponsored. There is no perfect lens implant. Otherwise, that would be the only lens implant to discuss, and there would be no need for further research and development of new lens implants. The reality is that all lens implants have advantages and disadvantages. The key to good results and happy patients is that a lens implant needs to be appropriately matched to a patient. If you put the most advanced lens implant in the wrong person, you'll have a bad result. Conversely, if you put the least advanced lens implant in the appropriate person, they can be very happy. It's about the match. In my opinion, the magic happens when you put a state-of-the-art lens implant in the appropriate patient. When determining which lens implant is the right match for a patient, the first thing I want to know from that patient is if they were forced to choose the highest quality vision possible day and night, but they still need reading glasses, or good vision far and near without glasses, but not perfect vision, especially at night, which would they choose? Do you want to maximize the quality of your vision, or do you want to maximize your independence from reading glasses? Which one is more important to you? If you had to choose A plus quality vision, but still need reading glasses, or a minus quality vision with possible glare and halos at night, but not need reading glasses to read your phone or a book without glasses, which one would you pick? Let's put insurance aside, let's put cost aside. If I had a gift basket of lenses and they were all free, would you rather have A plus quality vision but still need reading glasses? Or would you rather have A minus quality vision but not depend on reading glasses? This is what you need to ask yourself. With the lens implants available on the market today, I separate lenses into two categories, maximum quality or maximum range. These were my favorite lens implants for 2023. Now let's see what changed in 2024. In the maximum quality vision category, my first place lens implant is the light adjustable lens and light adjustable lens plus. The light adjustable lenses are the most precise lens implants available. More patients achieve 2020 vision into the distance without glasses compared to any other lens on the market. So if you're a candidate for the light adjustable lens, that would be my first choice. A plus distance vision, A plus nighttime vision. If you're a candidate for the light adjustable lens, I highly recommend it as long as you're okay with readers. There are two versions of the light adjustable lens. One is the light adjustable lens and the other is the light adjustable lens plus. The LAL plus is very similar to the regular LAL but a tiny bit more depth of focus. The quality of the LAL Plus is still amazing, and when compared to the regular LAL, it's like splitting hairs. So I've been using the LAL Plus as my go-to lens for maximum quality vision. These lenses are adjustable after surgery, which is why they are so good at focusing vision for patients. Number two on this list is an astigmatism reducing lens. We call them toric lenses. And for 2024, I love the Aspire toric lens by BNL. It helps reduce astigmatism, which is an irregularity in the way your eye focuses light, thereby helping improve your quality of vision with that astigmatism down. They provide excellent quality vision, but unlike the LALs, torics are not adjustable after surgery. The Aspire toric also gives a little bit of depth of focus, similar to the Eyehance by J&J, &J, and it also gives you really good distance vision. Some people are able to see the computer as well without glasses, but the intermediate performance is not super consistent. This lens is fantastic for people with astigmatism. And if you don't have astigmatism, then I would go to number three on this list, which is a basic monofocal lens. And for me in 2024, it's also the BNL Aspire. This lens is the non-torqued version, the version that does not reduce astigmatism. The final lens on this list is not one you might expect because it does provide added range of vision. It's the IC8 Aptera lens by Bosch & Lohm. Within this lens implant, 
there's a small dark aperture inlaid within the optic, and it can help improve quality of vision for patients with irregular astigmatism or significant light sensitivity. This lens wasn't designed for that. It was designed for something different, mainly to give more range of vision. But for patients who suffer from light sensitivity and irregular astigmatism, this lens does improve the quality of vision. Now, if you really want to avoid using glasses, including reading glasses, and you are okay with a slight degradation of quality of vision from like A plus to A minus, then I would consider a lens from the list here. These lenses can maximize your range of vision. The lens implants that currently provide the maximum range of vision are known as multifocal lenses. They focus multiple distances at once. And for 2024, my favorite max range lens is the Clearview 3 lens. This lens can provide similar range of vision as the Clarion Panoptics, but with less severe nighttime halos. This lens can provide good vision for far, intermediate, and near without glasses. Now, the vision isn't perfect. Some patients may notice shadows around letters, especially with high contrast print. There could also be flare around lights at night, but in my experience, these nighttime dysphotopsias are significantly less than with the 2023 trifocal lenses. However, the Clearview 3 is not available as a toric, and so it can't reduce astigmatism. And there's a limited power range. So for patients who are severely nearsighted and they have a really long eye, there may not be a lens strength available for them, so they're not a candidate. My second favorite lens in the maximum range list is the Clarion Panoptics lens. It has a wide power range available, and it can reduce astigmatism. It provides very good range of vision. However, this lens, as you may know, does cause some haloing at night. As a caveat to this, I must say that 2024 is not over, and there are two new multifocal lenses that still need to prove themselves. Those are the Odyssey lens by J&J &J and the Envy lens by Bosch & Lowe. These lenses promise to provide a large range of vision without glasses and improve nighttime vision. However, since they are ringed multifocal lenses, I still would expect some patients to see halos at night. Hopefully they improve from last year's technology. Keep in mind, for people who experience imperfections in their vision, such as dysphotopsias at night or shadowing around letters, they typically do get better over time as the brain adapts to the new vision. This is called neuroadaptation and it occurs over the course of about six months or so for most patients. Multifocal lenses work best in patients with otherwise healthy eyes. So avoid if you have conditions such as macular degeneration or diabetic retinopathy. If you want extra range of vision, but you really want to limit the amount of visual imperfections you experience, then I would consider the number three lens on this list. It's the Light Adjustable Lens Plus. The LAL Plus makes both columns because it gives added depth of focus, less than a multifocal, but more than even an advanced monofocal. This lens is adjustable, and so it can be custom tailored to you even after it is implanted. Number four on this list is the Clarion Vividi lens, which is an extended depth of focus lens or EDOF lens that gives good far range vision and good intermediate range vision with minimal nighttime dysphotopsias. It also can reduce astigmatism. With this lens, you'll still need readers for tiny print, but it's a good balance of quality and range. Other lenses in this category include the IC8 Aptera and Symphony OptiBlue lenses, which are EDOF lenses. As you see, there are advantages and disadvantages of each lens. Now, there are ways to get a lens from this list, the Max Quality Vision list, and not use readers. And that's to do monovision, where one eye can see far and the other eye can see near. But you are sacrificing far vision in one eye a little bit. Some people like that, but it could potentially decrease your depth perception, and some people don't adapt to that very easily. It works great though if someone is already used to monovision with their contact lenses or previous LASIK surgery where they had one eye for far and the other eye for near. If they like that, then I would definitely consider that as well. If I chose a lens for a family member, which would I choose? I would definitely go to the top of the food chain of either side for that family member, depending on if they wanted maximum quality vision or if they wanted maximum range of vision. If they want maximum quality, I would go to the light adjustable if they wanted the max independence from glasses, I would use a Fairview 3 if they have low astigmatism. If it were me, which lens would I get? I'm very picky. I also value quality. I also had previous LASIK surgery. So if I were to choose a lens today, I would personally get the LAL Plus. 
It makes both columns. It provides super high quality vision with modest range of vision. I personally really want that maximum quality vision. I had LASIK before as well, and so the adjustability of the LAL is that much more valuable. Before having cataract surgery or RLE, think about what kind of vision you would prefer to have, max quality or max range of vision with a slight decrease in quality. If you love the idea of reading without glasses but don't drive much at night, consider lenses in the max range list. If you're on the fence and can't decide if you want to have max quality or max range, go with max quality. Worst case scenario, you'll need over-the-counter readers, but you'll have excellent quality vision. I hope you found this video helpful. I tried to cover some of the basics. It's not a very in-depth review of any one particular lens. Talk to your surgeon about if you're a candidate for any of these lenses before you have surgery. For the eye doctors watching, what are your favorite lenses? Leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.